we're conducting what's now termed to be an elemental level inspection of the bridge behind me, which is a open spandrel concrete arch bridge that dates to 1920. The design and the construction obviously is, is significantly older than what we, we do now, and so what we're doing is we're doing a hands-on inspection with a certified rope access bridge inspector, and he's working to inspect all of the elements of the bridge itself to look for signs of structural distress, um, deterioration of the concrete, or other portions of the bridge itself. My name is Spencer Tucker. I'm with HDR. I'm a bridge inspector and bridge engineer. We're just inspecting the uh, concrete arch at Marsh Station Road at the Cienega Creek. Um, it's an annual inspection for this bridge and we're just out here making sure that uh, the condition of the bridge is what we expect and it hasn't uh, deteriorated further in the last year. As you see when he's conducting the inspection, he's visually looking for defects, cracks, balls and stuff, but he's also got a hammer that he's using to sound the uh, concrete areas on the arch and the other members of the arch to look for defects. Spencer, what are you going to check first? The arch rib? The arch, yeah. And then you're going to work on that spandrel wall above you? Yep. Okay. The bridge, historically, the road on top of the bridge is what connected Tucson to points going east, Benson and Wilcox, prior to Interstate 10 going in. So the bridge early in its history saw significant vehicle usage, but because now Interstate 10 is in, most if not all of the truck traffic is on Interstate 10. We're getting toward the end of its life expectancy per se, but there is a load restriction on the bridge um, that affects vehicles not over 20 tons using the bridge. That will, in itself, putting the load restriction, reduces stresses in the members and it will extend the service life of the bridge significantly even at this point. 